Mysterious glowing orbs in the sky of Marfa, Texas could be a UFO? Unsolved Mystery The mysterious glowing orbs in the sky of Marfa, Texas are one of Texas's greatest mysteries. These mysterious lights have confused scientists since they first appeared in the 1880s, long before automobiles were conceived. And everyone has their own theories about what these unusual orbs on the horizon could be. Ghosts, aliens, headlights, or some type of scientific phenomenon. But whatever they are, they are a sight to behold when you're in West Texas. Some believe they are UFOs. Others think they are Mexican ghosts. Everyone simply refers to them as the Marfa Lights. But what exactly are they? And why have people been curious about them for over a century? According to scientists, they are headlights. Locals believe that the unusual, mysterious lights are ghosts in the form of orbs floating along the highway like lost souls. What are the Marfa Lights? For years, people have been mystified by the Marfa Lights, mysterious and luminous orbs that appear in the desert outside the West Texas town of Marfa. According to eyewitnesses, the Marfa Lights are around the size of basketballs and have been reported as white, blue, yellow, red, or other hues. The Marfa Lights are said to hover, merge, and glitter split into two, flicker, float up in the air, or dart over Mitchell Flat the area east of Marfa where they are most regularly recorded. There appears to be no way to forecast when the lights will appear. They are observed in a variety of weather conditions, but only a few evenings per year. Nobody knows for certain what they are, or even if they exist at all. The Native Americans of the area thought the Marfa lights were fallen stars, the Houston Chronicle reports. The Marfa lights, often known as the Marfa ghost lights, have been seen along US Route 67 on Mitchell Flat east of Marfa, Texas. They've earned some notoriety since witnesses have linked them to paranormal occurrences including ghosts, UFOs, and Will-o'-the-Wisp. According to scientific evidence, the majority, if not all, are atmospheric reflections from car headlights and campfires. Marfa is a West Texas town and historic railroad water stop surrounded by cattle pastures. Because of the area's unexplained activity, it has now become UFO tourist destination. The size of the lights seen in Marva varies. Some are the size of basketballs, while others are the size of flashlights. They appear to float a few feet above the ground. Several appear to be at the same time, combining or moving around in a group. The First Sightings The first sightings occurred in 1883, when a teenage cowhand named Robert Reed Ellison saw the mysterious dancing lights while driving his cattle through the plains and was so terrified that he told everyone in town about it. Farmers, World War II veterans, and high school sweethearts have all reported witnessing pulsating, colorful balls of light along the Paseo Pass, an isolated stretch of prairie southeast of Marfa. During the filming of Giant in 1956, the actor James Dean was said to be so enthralled with the lights that he kept a telescope in his Marfa hotel room. Every night, hundreds of symbols off the stretch of a lonely West Texas highway 400 miles from Austin to witness the unexplainable. At nightfall in Marfa, bright spheres of white, yellow, pink, blue, and red twinkle, dart, pause, then dissolve back into the darkness of the Chihuahuan Desert just over the horizon of the Chinati Mountains, a superior mirage. The Marfa lights have been attributed by believers in the paranormal to everything from space invaders to the wandering spirits of Spanish conquistadors. Academics have also attempted to provide a scientific justification for the mysterious lights. A group of physics students from the University of Texas at Dallas came to the conclusion that at least part of the claimed sightings of the Marfa lights may be explained by headlights from adjacent US Highway 67 traffic. Another plausible explanation is light reflection caused by different temperature air layers. According to Skeptoid.com, this optical phantom, also known as a phantom organa, happens when a layer of calm, warm air sits on top of a layer of cooler air. A ship may appear to float over the horizon when a phantom organa is visible in the water. The West Texas desert frequently experiences the temperature variations required to create this visual illusion. Others believe the Marfa lights may be created by phosphine or methane, the same gases that give off glowing lights connected with swamp gas. These gases can catch fire when they come into contact with oxygen in specific situations. Around the world, people have noticed this luminous phenomenon, sometimes known as Will-o'-the-Wisp, Ignis Fatui, or Fool's Fire. 
especially in marshy locations where the decomposition of organic materials can produce pockets of phosphine and methane. Despite the fact that the Marfa lights are not located near a marsh, the region has large reserves of oil, natural gas, and other petroleum hydrocarbons, some of which may contain enough methane to have effects akin to those of swamp gas. Ghost lights. There is no way to forecast when or where the lights will emerge, but they happen less than 30 times every year, usually immediately after the sun sets or rises. According to some, the lights are around the size of basketballs and dart across the desert or hover as they pulsate. Others claim that the spheres appear colored as they twinkle in the distance. A second orb will frequently appear to split, merge, float, or melt into the first. The ghostly streaks could be anything from lost Spanish conquistador spirits to distant automobile headlights to UFOs. In fact, nobody is quite certain of their nature or even of their existence. According to mythology, the lights are the spirit of a Apache Indian chief named Aliste, who was slain by Mexicans for refusing to give up his desert home. Some local Native Americans thought the lights were falling stars. Others mistook them for wandering ghosts of Spanish conquistadors. Others mistook them for dancing devils or invading armies. The first written account of the Marfa lights is from 1883. Robert Reed Ellison, a cowhand, thought he saw the lights of an Apache campfire in the distance. However, no human remains were discovered the following morning. Locals have been recounting first-hand stories of these sparkling desert orbs since that tragic day. The best way to see the Marfa lights. The observation platform on US-90, nine miles east of Marfa, is the place to go. Arrive early enough to gain your bearings, identify the distant line of the Chinati Mountains, find the radio tower, and examine the route. In the end, Marfa is a civilized outpost with an independent bookstore and modern art by resident artist Donald Judd. However, Marfa is also known for certain mystical occurrences, such as the Marfa lights, which are many enigmatic spheres of light that float off the roadway out of town. The lights can be seen from a viewing station set up off Highway 67 just outside Marfa. Their appearance, on the other hand, is irregular at best, and if you see these multicolored, basketball-sized, floating light orbs, consider yourself lucky. Ground temperature changes causing static electricity, the piezoelectric phenomenon, which has to do with the expansion and contraction of quartz rocks, and of course, magic and UFOs have all been blamed for the lights. The most recent popular hypothesis, supported by the research of a group at UT Dallas students, is that the lights are created by some reflection of headlights from cars on the highway. However, the students' conclusions were far from conclusive. The mystery endures. And on that point, we will wrap up this video for today. I hope you all had a good time watching it, and if you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Take care, and I'll catch up with you all soon.